What is up, everybody? It is Wick here, and I'm inside of a Goodwill, and I'm thrifting. I'm looking for things I can buy and sell, make some money, and I'm going to seven Goodwills today. Going to leave the town, spread out a little bit, try to make some money, so let's go. And first Goodwill, stop here. Just looking in the toys, and over here I see a Kenyo VHS Rewinder. This is a two-way. I don't come across this model very often, but I can sell that on Amazon, make some good profit, so I'm picking that up. Got some tarot cards there. And you know what? They've been pricing those cards, this Goodwill, for like, like 7 to $10. I don't know why they think they're so valuable. I'm um, sure some are, but there's a bin down there with some horses. I'm making sure they weren't briar or anything special. That uh, horse set just seemed like some cheap stuff to me. So we got a doll just laying over here. Got a little bag with a magnifying glass. Not for me. Heading on over to the next Goodwill, though. That's all I found in that one. And... Yeah, this is one of those brother fax machines. This is one that's been sitting there for months. It's $25. It's used. It's not in great condition. Uh, last week, I sold one of those I found brand new at Goodwill. I paid $15 for it, and I sold it for, I think it was $250, uh, $230, $250, something like that. So definitely finding them new is good. Used as well. If they're in good condition, you get like $50, bucks, but not when you're paying $25. So here is a Sony uh, CD player with the remote. Don't see these two often anymore in Goodwill. It's a little beat up. It's $12.99. It's priced kind of high. They're not great money. I'm like, you know what? I think I'm going to pass on that. Uh, even though I can make a little bit of money, they're just annoying to deal with because you got to test them. Usually the cassettes have problems. The cassette player, uh, CD player also in those models, I found to not be very reliable. However, I did end up going back and picking it up. I just... Again, I haven't seen those on the shelf for a long time, so I wanted to buy it. In the toys, I'm checking some stuff. There's a couch from something. I probably should look that up. Some of those weird things can be worth money. And I got lots of toys here. Do you see anything special? Here's some little Batman ride-on car. And it's hard to see everything <laughs> at these thrift stores. That's why I'm doing multiple passes through these. Um, I go through them two or three times, and... A lot of times I come through them a third time and I see something I missed. That's kind of the case today. I, I almost missed some really good items you're going to be seeing. So here's some Pokemon glasses, 99 cents. I see they're not vintage, but I'm like, oh, maybe this lot of four or whatever will sell. If I can make $10 profit, I'll buy them. Be worth my time. I looked them up. Yeah, I'd have to have like 12 or 15, something like that to make $10 profit. So I'll put them back on the shelf. It was worth Looking them up just to see though. And lots of junk in this aisle. Let's see if I can find some treasure. Here's something that caught my eye. This Halo Mega Blocks figure set, $1.99. It's sealed. Put in the cart to look up and I do end up buying it. It's not big money by any means, but I picked it up. And here we are. We got some Jordans I found. Pretty beat up though, but only $5. So I decided to buy them. I got the Sony player in there because why not? I can make some money on it. So I grabbed it. Um, so media, not a whole lot of good media and there's so much media here. I just, I don't have time. I don't have the eye energy to go through it all. There's a Power Rangers figure. I have a couple of those. They're not big money. I think the, they're the Fisher Price Imagine X ones. Uh, if they have the accessories, they can be pretty good. Here's some Jurassic Park dinosaurs, the Indominus Rex. This one I recognize as being somewhat valuable. Uh, I usually buy these when I see them cheap and do lots. Uh, there's a couple other ones there. I believe they're Jurassic Park or Lost World or something. Um, I don't think they're very valuable or sought after. So I did not end up picking up those. And uh, lots of stuff here. There's a little house. It looks like it could go to Polly Pocket or something. I don't know. Uh, Plush here. Just made a video about Plush. Uh, so check that out if you didn't see it. Lots of good information. So in this Goodwill, I see this VCR. Brook Sonic, not a great brand. No remote. I look it up just in case. Uh, they're only selling for like $20, $25. I'm not going to spend my time with that one. $4.99 for this car. I believe it was a CD player. Again, not really worth picking up. It was Kenwood. Not a, not a terrible brand, but not a great brand either. Sometimes it was vintage. Uh, car CD players can bring some decent money if you're getting them cheap enough. So we got some crock pots, um, Instapot, pretty good one. 
I think it was priced 20 bucks. There's a $20 TI-82. Uh, TI-82s are not worth $20, but it would have been great if it was another one with the box and everything. I never see those, but maybe you caught it. There is something very, very valuable there on the shelf. And uh, luckily on my third pass through through this aisle before I left, I saw it. So it's going to be this big mouth Billy Bass. And you're like, wait, that's not big money. Also, the uh, DDR mat's big money as well. No, that's, that's a special Billy Bass, and I'll talk about that more in the haul video and how much it's worth. But uh, yeah, I actually did not know this version existed, and I'm glad I looked it up because, wow, I was really shocked. And I also find this, a uh, cross-stitch stocking, and it was $4.99, and that sold very quickly for $40. Uh, I think I shipped it out yesterday or the day before, so happy to have picked that up. Next Goodwill, we're looking again in the aisles same game uh, i bet people get very tired of my videos except for the the true hardcore sorcerers and thrifters you know what it's like you have to go through the same thrift stores almost on a daily basis look at the same things and just hope that one item came out that's going to be worth picking up that's just how you find the best stuff of course you can just go in once a week and you know get lucky and they had just put some good stuff out uh, it's just a numbers game, really, if you want to consistently find good stuff. So toys at this Goodwill. I'm looking for some treasure. I say that a lot because I do believe this kind of stuff's treasure. I see a lot of people going to garage sales. They're, they're only looking for gold and silver. But if you're looking for certain plush, certain board games, they can be hundreds of dollars. So usually more than the gold or silver you're going to find, that's for sure. And if you could right now, hit that like button for me. It does really help. I appreciate it. Here's a connection cube down here. I think this is like a vacation Bible school type thing. I really wasn't interested in trying to figure out... You know, if it's all there or whatever, usually not worth anything unless there's some sort of homeschooling stuff. Bag of random toys. It looks like maybe a Beyblade in there. I can't tell exactly, but the bag was $8. And even if it was, I'm not really into paying that much for a random Beyblade. Most of those are not worth too much money. Some can be worth $40, $50. Oh, I guess we're going on to the next Goodwill. I see this Panasonic set here. $25. I'm like, you know what? I'm not, I don't want to buy that. Another thing that I come back and I'm like, you know what? I have to buy this. It's in amazing condition. It's got the remote. I can return it if it doesn't work. Yeah, I can make good profit on it. So yeah, I did end up buying that. Here's a Sony receiver for $12.99. It's just beat up. I looked up the comps, no remote. And uh, I think it was like 25, 30 bucks they were selling for. Uh, definitely not worth my time. So I do have this Power Rangers card reader I'm picking up for $2.99 because you can make a little bit of money on them. I sold them before. It has a card in there. I'm like, yeah, why not? You know, this easy to list. It's working. Batteries are still in there. So it's ready to list, ready to go. A little skateboard. I don't think that had any value. Robot up there wasn't good. And this Goodwill I get to, and I'm looking for an Angry Birds knock on wood game. Last three times I was in this Goodwill, I found one. A very good board game. So it's looking pretty grim there. I don't see one this time. It would have been for some great content if I found a fourth in the in a row. Unfortunate, but here's some puzzles sealed. I make some good money on certain puzzles, selling them on Amazon. However, those just weren't worth picking up. A lot of puzzle brands have been restricting stuff on Amazon as well, so really good puzzles might might be coming to an end to selling them on Amazon. Still, if you're getting them for like a couple bucks, you can do, you can, and they're a good puzzle, you can sell them on eBay, of course, and still make money. You can do puzzle lots. There's still ways to make money on this stuff. It's just, when you find them at Goodwill for $5, and they're not worth selling for you know $10 or $15 on eBay, so over in the clothing here, I am looking and this Goodwill started not pricing their clothing and shoes um, up anymore. It seems the last few times I've been in here and here is a uh, kind of a Texas rancher type jacket. Uh, the style does pretty good on eBay I'm not priced up. So I come back and I decide to, to buy it uh, like why not? It's clean. It's ready to list. And here's a Wrangler hero vest as well and yeah this also is not priced up it's clean and ready to list so i figured yeah i'll buy it 
I uh, want to make sure when I'm traveling out, spending the gas money, uh, the wear on my car, I'm at least, you know, finding some stuff to be compensated for. Here's a random shirt, uh, Nino Brown. I looked it up. I never heard of him. Not really worth money. But let me show you all the treasure I did find today. Going to make some really good profit. Here is the haul. I got some really good stuff here, actually. I can start back here with this DDR dance pad. This is only $3.99 at Goodwill. It's the ones that have the foam pieces that you zip up inside of the pad. Looking up comps, I could only find one that has sold new for $136, but looking on Terrapeak, over the past year, there's been a lot of sales on these new. There's even someone that sold 12 of these, it looked like, for about $150 a piece. This one obviously isn't new, but being the only one on eBay for this model number, I think I could price it at least least a hundred bucks. It is in good condition in there. It looks like I pulled it out inside of the thrift store. So I should make some good profit on this in the end, I think. Right here is a Kenyo two-way VHS rewinder. This was $3.99 at Goodwill. Luckily, they didn't price it like $30 or something. This is something I'll probably sell on Amazon. I usually sell these rewinders pre-owned on there. I sell them between $40 and $50. Here's a cross-stitch stocking. Brand new sealed, $4.99. Now there's been some of these sealed stockings like this I've sold in the past for $50, $60. Currently, right now, people have it listed for around $50, $60, but the sold comps that were happening around Christmas seem to be more in the $30 range, maybe $40. Since there's only a few left on eBay and people haven't priced up, I'll probably come in at like $40, something like that. Might not sell until Christmas time. It's just hard to say with this stuff, but it'll be listed and ready to go next year. Here are some Jordans I picked up. Got these at Goodwill for $4.99 and they're kind of dirty, kind of beat up. They're not in that bad of shape though. It seems like these were uh, pre-owned about $50 in good condition just because they are Jordans and pretty good condition. You know, I'm going to make money on them only paying $5. It's really shocking they didn't price these up because that's a Goodwill that always prices shoes really high. I don't know. I think I'll try to get $30 for them. If not, I may have to lower it to 25 something like that, but I think I'll make some money in the end. Here is a Panasonic 5 disc system. I remember buying one of these years ago at a garage sale. I believe I paid $25 for it and I paid $25 for this one. I really don't remember what happened to that. I'm assuming I sold it, made some money. I really didn't want to buy this just because of how big and awkward it is, but it's in such good condition. It has the remote antenna. As long as it works, I should have no problem selling this for $100 plus shipping based on the comps I'm seeing. I think I even saw the remote by itself selling for $20. I could sell it for parts if it doesn't work and probably still make money. Now my Goodwill for anything that doesn't work, they take returns within seven days. So if it doesn't work, I'm just going to return it probably and just not deal with it. Still in the end, you know, I'm spending $25. I'm still making about $60, I think in the end. Here is another thing I did not want to pick up just because they don't sell super great, but this has the remote. It's yellow. It's more of a unique color that helps it get a sale. Has a cassette player, which usually that's the problem with these things the cassettes do not work anymore the rubber belts inside just you know rot away still i think i can try to sell this for about 40 bucks plus shipping just because of the color remote it's in pretty good condition it's got a few smaller dents and stuff in it but i picked it up just because you you don't see electronics like this hardly ever in goodwill anymore and if you do they're just not affordable you know back in the day you would find this for $5, you'd probably find that for $10, and there'd be a whole slew of other things to buy electronic-wise as well. A lot of it is just people are not donating stuff anymore because they've already donated all their old vintage electronics, right? You had that golden period um, about five or six years ago where I was going in every Goodwill and picking up a combo unit or VCR. In fact, it was going so well, I didn't even show this stuff in my videos because I didn't want people to be like, wow, I can go to six or seven Goodwills and make $2,000 on electronics. But just like everything, these kind of things go up and down in waves. And right now, you know, these things are more scarce. So this is an incredible find. Big Mouth Billy Bass. You might be saying, how is this an incredible find? I've sold the original vintage ones many times before. You can get a little bit of money for them. People still buy them. However, this is a Bluetooth one. It works with Amazon devices even. I didn't even know they made these. I looked it up and I'm like, oh my goodness. It looks like some of these are selling for 150 
150. One new sold with like 28 bids on Terra Peak I saw uh, for like over $300. Uh, I opened this one. It looks like it is new in box. It, it was zip tied down. I'm probably going to price this minimum $150 plus shipping. Definitely a bolo to keep an eye out for is the Bluetooth version of Big Mouth Billy Bass. So let me know in the comments. I'm just curious on how many people knew this Bluetooth version even existed. Got a few small toy deals here. I got this Power Rangers card reader. It's got a card in there even. Certain models of these are better. It seems like I sold one for about $40 recently. This one, however, uh, is only worth, like, with the card, maybe between $15, $18, I think. Same with this Halo sealed figure set. Mega Bloks was only a dollar. 99 between 15 18 dollars on that then we just got this little indominus rex this isn't a very special one but it was a dollar 99 and i think it sells for between 15 18 as well though i'll probably save this one and just a lot with other ones i find we have these three small toys. They don't take much to deal with. They're easy to list and they will bring in some profit. So I got a couple of clothing buys here. This Wrangler Hero vest with like the Sherpa lining, I guess. Paid $5 for it. I can flip this for, it looks like at least $30 plus shipping. So it's in great condition. I picked it up. I also picked up this Texas Rancher style jacket, Powder River Outfitters. It's not a great brand by any means, but I mostly bought it because this is in great condition the style is good and this is something that you'd want to definitely use keywords for like texas ranger barn jacket work jacket you know all those kind of keywords to help people find this that's looking for this style because the brand is probably not going to sell it alone still i did see like a, a gray version of this i think sell for about 60 to 80 dollars something like that i think pre-owned i'm just going to price this 50 dollars plus shipping it's definitely going to sell at some point i only paid five dollars for it i thought i'd be charged the coat price but they charged me just the jacket price which was i think four dollars and 89 cents so a gray Great deal. And also, this is one of the Goodwills that usually prices any semi-decent clothing higher, so no idea why these weren't priced up. There it is, everybody. That is my haul for today. Not a lot of items for going to seven thrift stores, but that's what picking is all about. You pick the good things. You have the knowledge to pick the good things, and then you make the most money for your time. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button for me. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, flipping underscore junk, and this has been Wick. Until next time.